New information, people who use Ditto Landing frequently tell us the major improvements coming to a current to, to the currently unusable marina will have a big impact on our community as a whole. Way 31's Cody Fisher is finding out how the $375,000 project is also going to increase safety for rowers who use Ditto Landing. Dan, check out this uh, completely torn up boat ramp. That's just one of the many things that this project is going to fix and build here along the Tennessee River. And, and that includes moving a dock that rowers currently used into the safety of this marina. Ditto Landing says this marina won't be this quiet once the project is completed because people will actually be able to use it. The project calls for building new wet slips for boat rentals and day boaters. One rower tells us it will also move an existing dock that rowers use out of the river into the safety of the marina. We're catching a lot of debris and current and there's always the danger of the dock being damaged or something hitting the dock. Ditto Landing is trying to get a state grant to pay for half of the project. To cover the other half, Madison County is committed to spending $100,000. Ditto Landing will spend $75,000 and several rowing groups are contributing $12,000. One man who has used Ditto Landing for 40 years says the project will increase the quality of life for people in Huntsville. I think this will, uh, again, help draw people in who maybe haven't been down there before and discover, hey, this is a pretty neat place. My kids can fish. We can, you know, we can play. Which is why he's okay with how much the county is spending on the project. I think it's money extremely well spent. Dill Landing says they're working with the Huntsville Madison County Marina and Port Authority to get this grant and they'll find out next November if they do get those those funds but if they don't get those funds it's going to delay the project until they can find a grant that will allow them to complete all of this work. Reporting live in Huntsville, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.